it's Ruthie from Ruthie Gray Dot Mom, and welcome to Instagram Insider Hacks. So easy, your mom can do it. This is the podcast that teaches you how to authentically deliver your message in a non pushy way. If you want to receive engagement and investment on your Insta time, listen in. And now, here's your host, me, Ruthie Gray. Hey there, and welcome to episode two of Instagram Insider Hacks. I'm so glad you're here. Today's discussion is all about the newest practices on Instagram and how to implement them. I like to call this what's new on the gram. What's new on the gram will run once a month, and this is where I can update you on all the new happenings both in stories, in the feed, in IGTV, and in live video. I just want you to know just how much I appreciate you being here with me today. Without your support and encouragement, I would not have this podcast, and that would be sad. So let's get ready to have some fun and focus on today's subject, what's new on the gram. In my last episode, episode number one, the very first one, I shared the story of how I came to be an Instagram authority, as well as a tidbit on how to decide where to carve your niche. If you missed that, please head over to the show. I am loving your response to this. And just know that you can also become an exclusive founding patron member of Instagram Insider Hacks and get your question answered with a member shout out. And if you're still listening to this in the month of June, you can also receive my brand new Go Live Jumpstart Kit for free with the founding patron membership. So go check out my link in bio to learn more about that at RuthieGray.mom. And without further ado, let's go find out what's new on the gram. As I tape this episode we are hopefully flattening the curve during COVID-19. So being in the middle of that, I want to point something out. Whenever there's something new happening in the world and we're all involved, such as the coronavirus, Instagram likes to capitalize on that so that we can all become bonded together during that. So knowing that, here's what's going on on Instagram in light of that. In stories, we have the stay home sticker, the thanks health heroes sticker, a donation sticker, a challenge sticker, and several more. I don't know if you've noticed them or not, but when you go to your stories and you hit the GIF part, it's a transparent little um, rectangle box It says GIF, and the words keep playing over and over again. Hit that, and you'll see these stickers right away. Are you ready to dive into these new stickers and what they can do for you and your engagement? I hope so, because I am. Let's go. First, the stay-at-home sticker. I have used this sticker so much during (laughs) COVID-19. If you haven't, you're missing out. Go ahead and open up stories with me. If you have your phone nearby and you can get right on Instagram, if you go into stories and upload a photo, just that would be a real quick way to do this. If you upload a photo and then at the top, there is a sticker tab. It's a smiley face in a square and you want to just hit that and that will bring up your story stickers. If you look On the left, there's a donation, like I said, donation tab. If you tap on that, it brings up all kinds of different places you can donate to from the United Nations Foundation all the way down to, oh, there's just so many orphan relief and all kinds of them. So that's one. But the next one is the stay home sticker that I was talking about. So if you upload that in your stories, you have the opportunity to be seen more by using that sticker. Your friends see your stories more. Try this out. Do 
a story and say, do three frames. Upload the first story with a sticker, with the stay home sticker. Upload the second frame without it, and then upload the third with it. And you will find out that your story views are seen more on the ones with the sticker than the ones without. I'm going to explain this a little bit further in a minute, but the next thing I want you to do is if you, if you tap on the stay home sticker, it is a hashtag I stay home for, and that puts you in that hashtag hub. If you tap on it again, it's the home sticker. It's just a heart, but it still counts and you can still use it for this reason. Next, let's go to the thank you sticker. It's the one with the hands, looks like they're washing. If you upload that and tap on it, then it's just the hands if you tap once. And then if you tap again, it says, thank you. So any of those will work. And that sticker actually puts you in a story, the thank you story hub. So another reason, again, to use for visibility. The third new sticker that I wanna talk about today is the challenge sticker. I've used this myself, have you? So when you tap on the challenge sticker, it pops up and down at the bottom are a bunch of challenges. You can actually swipe left to see all the challenges and you can tap in on one. There's the baby picture challenge, there's a stay at home challenge, there's the music challenge. Perhaps you want to sing a song, tap on the music challenge, sing a song or play it on an instrument. And then underneath it says, I nominate at, and then you can nominate up to 10 friends. Then they can choose whether to accept it or not. But this is a good way to provide more visibility for your account. So these help your engagement by putting you in front of people that don't know you. And that's always a good thing. Now, one thing that I get a lot of is, and this is not a new sticker, but the music sticker. It seems that some people either have it or they don't have it. And the ones that don't have it want it. <laughs> Here's what happened to me. I had it last summer and used it and used it and used it. I loved it. And then one day it was gone. Now, all the time that I was using the music sticker, I didn't have the quiz sticker. And that bugged me because I wanted the quiz sticker. So many people had it, but I didn't. Well, the day that I checked and the music sticker was gone, guess what? The quiz sticker was there. So then I went for months and months with no music sticker, but the quiz sticker. It was so funny. So people ask me a lot um, about this, but honestly, in my opinion, the quiz sticker is better for you because it creates more engagement in your stories. Anytime you can get people to tap in on your stories to take a poll or a quiz or answer a question, you're getting to know your audience and they're getting to know you. You are developing relationships. So use the quiz sticker if you've got it and don't worry about the music sticker. Maybe you'll get it, you know, in six months. Who knows? Now, let's go on to live video. I want to describe what is new there. This is relatively new, and I'm so excited about it. Someone asked me last week, Ruthie, how can I read a verse on live video but maintain eye contact with my people or read a quote or whatever? And I said, the best thing to do is to go in when you're in live you have the opportunity now to pull up your photos from your camera and it will put you into a little tiny square at the top. And so people can still see you, but they can still see, they can see your camera roll. So make that into your quote or your main bullet points or whatever. That's a great way to keep your followers interests when you're doing a live video. So be sure to check that out. It's pretty exciting. I hope you guys get as geeked out about this stuff as I do, because it's just, it makes me so excited. It's just so fun to find these new features because they're helping us get our message in front of our ideal audience member. That's what it's all about. I want to talk about IGTV for a moment. 
IGTV is so great because you can upload a video and it'll stay there for a long time as long as you want it to. And it can be between, you know, from over a minute up to between 15 and 20 minutes even now. That's kind of new that you can do longer videos. That's not how I use IGTV, but some people do. And the new thing about it is that you can now use horizontal video as well as portrait mode. Up until recently, you could only use portrait mode, and that made it difficult for people who were wanting to shoot one video, say for Facebook and YouTube, but then they had to shoot another one in portrait mode for Instagram. So that's good. Another thing you'll see if you go into the search bar for IGTV is there is a scroll feature that is much more user friendly and you can search for creators there. Also, if you didn't know, you can have a series now and group a series of F episodes together. So to see an example of this, you can go to my IGTV and I have a Frozen series where I sing in a crazy voice um, and tell you how to get unstuck on Instagram. And I had this giant piece of cotton on my head, look like Olaf. And uh, it's just little two to three minute videos that show you things like how to get the swipe up if you don't have 10,000 followers, as well as how to use quick replies and how to build relationships in the DM. So you might want to go over to ruthiegray.mom on Instagram and binge watch those. They won't take you long and you will get fresh wind in your sails for how to use IGTV video. Another new thing is that once you post into IGTV, it used to be that you could share it to your stories, but it was just a still photo of you on your video. Now, that photo uh, is actually video for the 15 second frame. So that's brand new and very useful. One last thing I want to tell you is I just downloaded a Chrome extension. It's called IG Stories for Instagram, and it lets you download live videos that you'd like to save. Many people come to me and they say, I want to save my live video, but I can figure out where to save it. Well, usually, and this is if you don't have a guest on, after you push end on your live video, you have the option in the upper left hand corner to save it to your camera roll. But if you have a guest on, you don't have that option. So if you would like to save your videos from now on that you do live and repurpose them, then get the Chrome extension IG Stories for Instagram. It's perfect. Lastly, I just want to remind you about my brand new Go Live Jumpstart Kit. It's over on Teachable. You can find it in my link in bio. It's free when you become an exclusive founding podcast patron. This Go Live Jumpstart Kit will set you up. If you've never done lives before, it's the perfect starter kit for going live. I think you'll just love it. Just go take a look over there and I am going to wrap this up. Remember to go and use story stickers, especially the stay home sticker, the thank you sticker, and the challenge sticker. But I'm challenging you right now to just use one next week. Just one. These stickers are there to help you become more visible on Instagram. Stay tuned for next week's episode where we're going to talk about imposter syndrome and why it's important to identify so you can get over yourself and get your message out to the world on Instagram. I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me on Instagram Insider Hacks. So easy, your mom can do it. <laughs>